Freedom Express 231 RBDS uh, coachman here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan on a terribly overcast day. I'm getting some really wicked glare out the shiny fiberglass nose of this, so bear with me a little bit. Um, the uh, Freedom Express represents Coachman's uh, both highest level trailer as well as uh, their top level lightweight. They have several different uh, varieties. The um, lot, of, lot of very, very important features here that if you're not looking close you can miss and they're the kind of things that will make you regret a purchase not having these type of things. Um, the, uh, you know, a lot of lightweights have a power awning, you know, and that's where a lot of the things I'm going to show you, you can find on a lot of other trailers, but not on a lightweight. This is a very well-appointed lightweight trailer. Uh, power awnings are pretty common, and most lightweights will have those, but not with a full LED light strip like this one here. And since that's mounted at the base of the awning, it reflects off the white underskin, and it'll make your whole campsite glow. And again, this is not, you know, like a true high-gloss gel coat, but it still shines pretty nice, as you can see from the glare on the nose. Um, these have uh, the largest front storage in their class. You see it's got this big capacity area here. It's basically, I guess the quickest way to describe it is three quarters of a three quarter ton bed pickup truck bed. That's what we're looking at here with a big LED light strip to give you illumination in here. This is a handy little stow out of the way indoor outdoor table, which is very useful. It's two foot by four feet, folds out easy, it's lightweight. And it's waterproof, you know, it's it's a resin top table. It's not going to swell like a, uh, you know, a, a common indoor outdoor camper table. Um, this, uh, in recent years, they switched over to this bullet nose design here and it, it looks sharp, you know. A lot of people say, oh yeah, I bet that gives a better aerodynamics. It might a little, it's really not gonna make a significant difference. It just looks really cool and it's the look people are looking for. Now, power awnings, power tongue jacks, you can find those a dime a dozen on lightweights. What we don't know is the quality of the appliance. People don't realize that there's like grade A, B, C, um, you know, like uh, in in like power tongue jacks and power awnings. These are the the best, uh, basically level and quality that Lippert puts out there. And Lippert does a lot of stuff for the RV business, so they could save a dollar and give you a cheaper tongue jack, but it wouldn't work as fast. It wouldn't be as reliable. Same with the awning. Coachman's use twin uh, 20 pound tanks instead of 30s. 30s will give you more capacity, but on a, uh, with a 20 pound tank on a Sunday, take it to a gas station, swap it out, it's easy. My little red battery box there, pardon me, I'm giving us some power today. Now they do set this up, uh, well first of all with a tongue mounted spare tire, that leaves the rear bumper open for bike racks, which so you don't have to fight around it. And then you have room for a double battery here. And they're still giving you a, a full 24 inches of diamond plate. A lot of manufacturers have uh, skimped on that on their lightweights to try to, you know, have one that's a dollar cheaper. Um, <clears throat> this is another thing that I really like, is uh, the sides of the slide walls are heavily textured. And I don't know if the camera is going to really pick that up. But long story short, if you listen... My fingers are digging against a, a really rough surface here. Look at how taut the uh, the seal is here. I don't know how well that's translating, but this seal is pulled all the way out flat flush. This rougher skin pulls that seal, so you don't get one of those seal half open, half closed things, and you don't uh, create a leak in a camper that actually ha should have no leaks. Um, the uh, wheels down here, they are aluminum, so they're not going to rust on you. And they're wide stance, and that's going to give you better stability going down the road at high speeds. It's going to keep the trailer from wiggling behind the truck and doing that. It'll keep you from get, uh, feeling like you're getting pushed around. Now, every trailer and tow vehicle combination is pretty unique. So keep in mind, there's always maybe little hitching things you can do to help eliminate that as well. These do have an enclosed, insulated, heated underbelly for extended season camping. I didn't say four seasons. There is no such thing as a truly four seasons lightweight, and that's a misnomer that gets thrown out there too much. Long story short, if the snowflakes aren't flying, you're camping with this one. Um, the uh, rear outside uh, kitchen here has a lot of cool things going on with it. First of all, look at the attention to detail. They even put a drip rail above the big, uh, you know, door of, of the outside kitchen to give you, um, you know, more longevity and keep the water away from your seals here. Secondly, I'm tall, and this comes up high enough that you know this can act as a good rain cover for me. Now, if you notice. The awning comes right up next to this thing, so you can walk from your awning under here, never get rained on. You can, you know, go grilling pretty much any time. This still has the full outdoor refrigerator, not the little uh, college kid mini fridge so often found out there today. And even outside here, we have LED lights, and at night that's going to really brighten it up down here. And good storage space. You have a lot of good storage space in here. This is, you know, nearly elbow deep, and I'm a tall fella. Um, second light down here 
right above your spice rack and notice the little power outlet is there for like blenders and griddles and stuff like that. Um, your grill is a free floating Coleman grill and uh, that this is nice because this is a high output grill not like you know the little two burner stoves you see in campers if you can blow hard enough to blow candles off a birthday cake you can blow that stove out this takes a 25 mile an hour wind and you can't do that um, let's uh, let's hop inside here for you you know something I don't talk about enough but I should it's just the bigger grab handle it's not an expensive piece but name something you're going to use more in your camper. You have to use that thing every single day. It's nice to have the bigger one. Um, dry weight of this camper as built is 5,117 pounds, just to give you an idea how it may vary from the brochure weight. Now you walk right in, boom, one light switch. And these are all LED interior lights, just like you saw outside. I don't even have the little spotlights on above the dinette, and you can see it's very bright and comfortable in here. Now they have, uh, they use some good high contrast, like light colored wood paneling with a little bit, um, darker cabinetry it's it's more of a mid-tone it's not a really dark cherry you see but it has a uh, you know it gives you that good light dark contrast here i don't remember the name of this color scheme i want to say truffle so pardon me this is a good time to mention things like the fabric colors you're seeing in this video may vary different from our photo tour if you're uh, not like on youtube if you're on our home website and the pictures look different from this video because this video is kind of generic just to tell you about the 231 to tell you about freedom express um, you know, it, the actual unit we have in stock might be different. We do take a lot of time to try to make our photo tours and we do publish our MSRP sheets um, to, to make everything match basically. So the u dinette here in the deep slide, because this is a full three foot deep slide, not a shallow slide like most lightweights, it folds down into a seven foot bed. So if the grandkids are coming or something, you've got a spot for them. But this is an ideal couples camper. If you just want something you can run around and, and rely on, this is a good one. Um, the kitchen, the bathroom, everywhere you find countertops, you'll find this nicer sealed edge countertop. It It's sealed. Water, if you spill a drink up here or if you're splashing around the sink in the bedroom, or pardon me, in the bedroom, geez, in the bathroom or the uh, kitchen, then you there, there's nowhere where water can sneak into a T-molded seam and swell. Um, both sides of your dinette have easy access drawers and... As an added little bonus, the rear bench has these little slide open pockets, so you don't necessarily have to disassemble the entire dinette just to get to your storage. All of your windows open uh, for cross ventilation, and this thing opens huge. This, I mean, 50% of that window pane opens. That's the biggest you can possibly get. Uh, this is a smaller coach, but a lot of people will step in here and say, you know, I've seen other layouts like this from different brands, but this one just feels bigger, and you're absolutely right. Again, remember that this is a full deep slide over here, not a shallow slide, but secondly, it's taller. Average camper, especially lightweights, are 78 inches tall from floor to ceiling panel. This goes to 81 inches. That extra three inches makes a big difference. It's extra three inches of just general open space. It's an extra three inches of cabinet space, extra three inches of uh, shower height. Um, extra three inches of slide out height that's a big one if you know a lot of campers go up 78 inches and then they have that cool barreled roof and that's fine but it doesn't allow you taller slide outs like you get in a freedom express so that's a critical critical difference bigger cabinetry is another thing you'll see other trailers laid out like this they will not have the quantity of cubic foot of storage you'll find in this freedom express that is the tray still in the box for the microwave that's your spinning rotating tray and you can see how big the cabinetry in here is so you can put big dinner plates and stuff like that in here um looking down uh again sealed edge countertops with lots of extra counter space around here now they have a sink you can actually use big deep sink it's an american stone cast sink to give you an idea we just had an open range come into stock uh it retails for about eighty two thousand dollars uses the exact same sink that sink is awesome one it's american made two it, you can, like, if you're boiling water over here, spaghetti, whatever, pour it right in. You don't have to wait. It's not a plastic sink. It's not going to melt. It's not going to fail. All of your drawers are all plywood constructed. They're all full extension. Easy to get to. I mean, you can reach beyond the back of the drawer in this one. Um, also, this is my favorite thing in these in the kitchen, is the, the drawer that wraps around the sink. It's the best use of space in a kitchen I've ever seen in any camper ever. And, you know, you've got spots for silverware, you know, lighter, stuff like that. If it gets dirty, pull it out, clean it, toss it back in. No big deal. Uh, back here we have a charging station so that things like your cell phones and, you know, uh, tablets can stay charged. 
what you do is you plug this in here, you can feed your cables down through, then just close it. Then you don't have to look at an ugly charger and cables hanging in your nice travel trailer. It just looks finished. Um, you know, it's, it's deliberate. Most water heaters in lightweight trailers are gas only. Many are auto ignition today. That didn't used to be true, but this is gas and electric auto ignition. You can run them both together simultaneously to get up to 18 gallons of hot water per hour. That's basically the same as a lot of big fifth wheels, but here in a small lightweight trailer. Notice how you have hanging wardrobe rods up there, or well, a rack. It's because this is removable shelving. Take this out and arrange this any way you want. This cabinet can be a wardrobe, a pantry, a linen closet, whatever you need it to be. Also, did you notice the air conditioner in here is centralized? Very few 23 foot lightweights are going to have central air. They're going to just have a main living room air conditioner and hope the cold air blows around. Now back here in the bathroom, down here is the outside kitchen. This is all of that extra space above the outside kitchen and it is just tons and tons of storage space. Absolutely enormous amount of storage in here. And again, that's one of the reasons this is an awesome couples camper. Rear bathrooms give you a ton of long-term storage. And again, you can see how deep that is. Just to give you an idea, that goes past my elbow. And again, I'm a tall guy. Worth mentioning one more time, the sealed countertops back here in the bathroom, because you will splash water on, but do you notice how you can actually get your hands in this sink? You can actually use your sink and wash your hands here. They add shelving here. They don't just give you a dead cabinet. And that allows you more storage space. You can keep your extra toilet paper and like tape tablets down here, stuff like that. Notice you have, you know, you have heat outlets here in the bathroom even. Now this is awesome. And this is where this is truly cut above. A lot of these little couples campers have a tub. That's stupid. Most, most couples don't need a tub. Most couples want a shower. This is like a 50 inch walk-in residential shower with a, uh, a three panel sliding glass door. It is very, very upscale as compared to what you would normally find in this class. It's it's just gorgeous. It looks really good, and uh, you know it's it's not what you are accustomed to finding. You know another thing I like they have big light switches, easy to get. If you're like me, if I stumbled out of that bed at night, and I mean stumble, because I'm a zombie when I wake up, I'm like I'm slapping all over trying to find this thing. So it's nice that that's there. <clears throat> Looking forward. Notice that you're, you have a Center Island Entertainment Center. You also have privacy doors. You don't have um, window, or you don't have curtains. You don't have an accordion door. You have actual sliding pocket doors. Your entertainment center does spin. You can simply, uh, TV is included, by the way. We simply pull it out for storage purposes. So your TV can face uh, the uh, bedroom. It can face the living room. You can even turn it a little bit to, to face the sofa. Your stereo eliminates the need to bring along extra electronics because it is DVD and Bluetooth enabled. Uh, a couple more high points while we're just standing up here. We have um, two windows that open for cross ventilation in the bedroom and a roof vent. Again, most lightweights can't match that criteria. We also have big overhead cabinets, not just a cheap shelf, if anything, because again, most lightweights are just trying to save money. Now, with no lights on in this bedroom, you can see how bright it is. Also, this is a critical difference from most travel trailers. This is a true 80 inch bed. This is a true queen, not a shorter 74 inch camper queen, a true 80 inch queen. The bed does lift up for storage and you notice there are power outlets next to each side of the bed to charge phones and run your breathing machines and all that good stuff. Um, give us a call and uh, there's still a lot more to learn. You know, uh, I haven't talked about the Asdell substrate in the walls that has helped keeping this trailer light despite its increased size. You know, this is lighter without sacrificing quality and structure. And there are ways that that's accomplished I haven't gotten into yet. So call to learn a little bit more still. 800-256-5196. Uh, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.